Willie Jackson. Oh, well, what a disappointing and shameful speech from that member. Uh, and this is another day, another attack on the treaty, Madam Speaker, uh, by this government who continue to use Māori as a political punching bag. Uh, and I'm disappointed with that member. I thought he would uh, do a bit uh, better than that, given he's uh, the, the, the great brown hope, but uh, clearly uh, not the case. It, it's a sad, sad day that treaty pro when treaty provisions are removed from this type of um, legislation, and, I, and I'm particularly disappointed with those Māori members over there, uh, because I don't understand what, part, what treaty principles they're scared of. I was looking at Minister Paul Tucker and I was thinking, is there one, one Māori advocate, one Māori friend of his who would support this legislation? I don't think there would be one, Madam Speaker. My uncle Moana Jackson, oh, one of his, one of his heroes. I wonder what uncle Moana would think now. He wouldn't have one friend one Māori advocate who would support this rotten legislation, Madam Speaker. It is rotten legislation, uh, even though they have said that they will keep supporting tikanga Māori uh, and whatnot. But the Prime Minister said earlier this year in front of Māori leadership that he will honour the treaty. That's what he said. Yeah, this, this government is removing the treaty provisions and legislation left, right and centre. They say one thing and they do another. They have said, Madam Speaker, they will not support the Treaty uh, Principles Bill uh, past the second reading, but, it, but then they do this type of nonsense. How can Māori have any faith in a government that double talks, Madam Speaker? Double talks. Minister Māori Affairs over there, yes, yes, we all like him, you know, can't help liking him. However, he is part of the strategy. Stand up, Tama. Stand up against your mates in national. That's what your, your, your Māori mates are saying. They're sick of this removal of legislation. Now there's an attack on the Waitangi Tribunal. So the, the, the treaty is not being, uh, being honoured uh, and we're stripping, we're stripping treaty obligations out of corrections. It's in, it's in coordination with what's happening with 7AA out of Oranga Tamariki. And I have to say, Madam Speaker, I just don't understand where this National Party's coming from. You and the kid uh, have no idea, uh, no idea of National Party history. You know, we, we had a, you had a National Party who worked in tandem with Māori, Mr Lamega, you worked in, tan, worked in tandem with the Māori Party. This legislation, uh, this legislation is offensive to Māori. Mr Lamega doesn't understand that. This is what people are saying. You are removing the treaty obligations for the incarceration of Indigenous people when Māori are, are so grotesquely overrepresented in our, uh, in our prisons and you have the audacity, Mr Mega, to call that justice. These treaty obligations need to be enshrined in, in legislation. You see, whilst I've heard, ma ma well, just listen, listen. <laughs> uh, we're, we're trying to explain it to you that it's all right to say, well, yes, we, we can still do the Māori thing, we can do the mana wahine thing, we, we can do all that. But if there's no commitment, if, the, if it's not entrenched, then anybody can come along and just change things. I'm proud of the work that the previous Labor government has done in terms of making New Zealanders aware of their treaty obligations. This is not about forcing the treaty down people's throats. This is about us working in partnership, working in tandem. Uh, the other side, sadly, led by uh, fools like Mr. Mega over there, and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, excuse me, is that, was that going a bit far? That's, that is. Oh, I apologise. Unparliamentary. I'll go uh, unparliamentary. I apologise for that. I know that he he could take it well, uh, but 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 the reality is this is about bringing society along. And we, seriously, we need Mr Mego, we need Mr Portaka over there. We need Māori and uh, Mr McLeod over there too. Also, we need the, these Māori to be aware of what their people are saying, which is entrench the treaty, support tikanga Māori, support kaupapa Māori, and show some courage instead of being gutless Māori. Kia ora.